In today's video, we're going to talk about the wooden dummy and its use in trolley foot. Uh, a while back, I did another video on the trolley foot wooden dummy where I demonstrated a few techniques. And it was just a, some video that was taken during the course of a normal day's training. And um, that video actually is one of the highest viewed uh, videos on my YouTube channel and it has accumulated quite a bit of comments. Um, what I noticed with the comments in the, in the video um, is there's a lot of misconceptions about what this piece of equipment is actually used for. Um, and there was some comparisons in the comment section made between Wing Chun, which is another system of Chinese martial arts that's famous for using a similar uh, piece of equipment, although it's a different design. Uh, and they were making the comparison between Wing Chun and Chole Fut, when actually the uh, purpose behind the training of the two systems on the wind dummy is a little bit different. Uh, in this video, I want to kind of clear up some of those misconceptions and kind of give a general overview of uh, what this wind dummy is used for um, in terms of what attributes you want to gain from training on this piece of equipment, as well as why it's designed a certain way, because there were some questions in the videos about what the design was for. So in the previous video I did uh, demonstrating uh, wooden dummy techniques from the Chole Fuzz system, there's, in the comments section there seems to be a lot of questions about this top arm and the reason why it's positioned the way it is. Um, the, the design of this arm was based on an old scale where you would put whatever you want to weigh on one side and attach fixed weight to the other side to determine how much the item weighed. Um, this particular arm you can see that there's a spring attached to this side. Uh, in the old days they would have used weights based on how much resistance they want to give to this arm. Uh, nowadays we use a spring just for convenience sake. The purpose is still the same. Um, we want to train what we call bridging techniques, which is using our form to deflect oncoming attacks. Now, uh, the question was raised that since this is representative of a punch or an attack coming to the upper gate, shouldn't it be angled more towards the person's face? And the thing you have to realize with these wooden dummies is they tend to be built in accordance to the height of the practitioner. So sometimes you'll see somebody who's shorter training on a dummy that maybe is not built for them, so it's sitting extremely high. Um, for me personally, this is a little bit high. It should be more about here. That little bit of, a, of a height difference doesn't matter much. Because what you're, the reason why this is slanted diagonally upwards so that when I'm training, for instance, the chun cue, which is a major deflection technique in the trolley foot system, I want to be able to go through the full range of motion in this technique. The chun cue is meant to not just deflect the punch, but to pry the opponent upwards and drive them off balance. So if, if the arm was fixed at this position, this was the highest point this arm could go, when I'm training the chun cue, I'm not able to fully go through the entire range of motion. So the arm is pointed upwards. But this does allow me to go through the full range of motion upwards. Now, the other reason why it's pointed up here is another technique um, that's often trained on the utility foot wooden dummy is called a poon cue. A poon cue is a circular uh, br bridge coming on a downward angle. Now, with the poon cue, you want to be able to pull this arm down. So, when I'm training, I'm pulling the arm down here. Now, if the arm's already down here and I do the poon cue, it's not going to offer me much resistance. What I'm doing is training my power, similar to uh, when you lift weights. If you do a bench, you want to go through the full range of motion of your bench, right? So it's the same idea here. I'm training the power in this technique. So I want to offer resistance to myself all the way down through the technique. So I develop that power so when I use, use the, the poon cue against an opponent, I'm going to be able to pull that arm down as much as I need to or pull their head or whatever I'm using my poon cue to pull down with. Um, another thing you'll notice is on this particular dummy, this arm is made out of metal. Um, originally it was wood. Uh, I replaced it just because of the wear and tear on the original wood arm. And that occurred through uh, this, the second major reason, aside from training technique, uh, when you practice on the wooden dummy, you want to develop your conditioning in your bridge. So your forearm needs to be conditioned in order to be able to deliver these deflecting techniques on an opponent. I want to cause them damage while I'm deflecting the technique, so I need a conditioned weapon. 
Um, as, as we're training our positioning on the dummy and technique, we also want to um, hit the dummy with enough force to sort of develop ourselves and condition ourselves to be able to uh, attack an opponent that way or receive uh, oncoming force onto our bridge without feeling pain. Um, if I'm not able, if I'm not conditioned or able to deliver these techniques against an opponent, what's going to happen is I'm going to damage myself. So if attack's coming in, I do a chun Q, um, but deflecting his punch hurts me more than it hurts him, or I absorb impact on my arm, uh, maybe due to misjudging my distancing or a mistake on my own part, um, then I'm going to cause myself damage and the chances of him, of my opponent overcoming me, pushing through my defense and coming through is going to be much greater. So we use this not only for developing technique um, and strength and pulling and prying, but also to develop resistance to the impact that we're going to feel when we go against an opponent. Another key point to the use of the trolley foot wooden dummy is the use of the lower leg. Okay, this this piece here is represented with an opponent's leg. Um, you'll see it made different ways in this particular dummy. There's a bend here representing the opponent's knee. Okay, the first way to use this would be uh, lower body attacks. Okay, so if I want to attack the person's leg or stop them from coming in before they can do deliver hand techniques, I can use it for that. Um, a more important, uh, at least to us, a more important uh, use for this leg is to train the trolley foot practitioner to check the opponent's leg with their own leg as they defend. So if a punch is coming in, I want to use a chin cue. Not only do I want to use a chin cue, but I want to train myself to check their leg with my own leg. Now, the idea behind this is similar to maintaining bridge contact, right, with your form. When you maintain bridge contact, you can feel changes in your opponent's movement. So if an opponent comes in with a really um, committed attack, and I can maintain this bridge contact, but they decide to either uh, retract their limb or push or change direction, I can feel that through my arm. It's the same idea with the leg. Okay? If I'm checking with the leg and the opponent just decides to step back, I'll feel them break that contact and I'm able to continue to engage them and drive them off balance. And also, if they want to break that contact and throw a kick, I'm also close enough to where I can drive them off balance for that. I'll feel them break contact on my leg and I'm able to do that. Um, a third use for this lower leg is to train you to step around the opponent. So instead of being um, directly in front of the dummy just trying to throw my hands as fast as I can and using this solely as a speed training technique, what we attempt to do is train our positioning relative to our opponents. So we don't want to stand directly in front here, throw our hands really fast. It seems cool, but um, in terms of dealing with the opponent, you always want the best position possible. Usually that's on the sides or behind the opponent. So what you want to do is not only train to check this leg and use your techniques, but you also want to train sidestepping around the opponent so you can get to the outside angles. What, what this does on the dummy is allows you to train that position without having to look down at this leg, okay? Um, if you need to look down, like let's say I'm checking an opponent here, I need to jump checking an opponent. If I need to look down to step around this leg here, say I want to go in for a takedown, but I have to look down to do it, I'm going to give myself away, I'm going to telegraph that attack. So what I want to do is train myself so I'm able to step around and get in position without having to look down. So not only is the wooden dummy a tool for training um, different hand techniques, bridge techniques, and kicking, but it's also designed to train your footwork as well.
you saw a few of our conditioning drills as well as uh, technique combination drills that we do. Um, there's more than what was presented in this video. Those are just a few of the basic things we do. Um, in our system, there is a, we do have a trolley foot wooden dummy form, but we tend to focus more on drills just as you do when you train on pads or, or train on the heavy bag, train on the wall bag. You want to train a few combinations and really develop those to be fast and powerful. So we treat, it's a, while the wooden dummy is important to the overall uh, practice of your trolley foot, it's not any more important than any of the other aspects of, of your training. So you should train, spend equal amount of time on the wooden dummy that you do on the heavy bag, that you do on other types of bags, or that you do working with a partner, or even solo forms. All of those work in unison together to develop a well-rounded trolley foot practitioner. Um, we also went over, in this video, we also went over some of the, uh, the concepts behind why the, the structure of the dummy is the way it is. If there's any more questions about that, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And I hope you enjoyed this video.